<laughs> uh, Moosey, do you have any, like, expectations or thoughts? Or, or what are your vibes going into High Swap Friends Sim? I don't even know what this is about or how it relates to Hive Swap. Is it just like a, you're this blank character right here and you go to the Alternian world? Yeah. So you go to Alternia and this is basically, it's all non-canonical, but it's to introduce you to characters that you will be seeing in Act 2. Um, it was a really neat way to kind of like buffer between the huge gap between Act 1 and Act 2. Um, like there was excitement, they released like troll calls, so you'd get start getting hyped for the different characters. Um, and yeah, so you are MSPAR, uh, who we, we technically see in the comic, but this has like a real personality. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, you are an, an, an self-insert character going around and uh, becoming friends, or you know, the goal is to become friends with uh, the many 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 characters of hive swap friend sim does mspar stand for something ms paid adventures MSPA reader 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 okay yeah yep 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 let me get rid of that notification from craig cool and that's uh, gonna be like a ton of characters added to hive swap part two yeah, yeah they're... so like all of these these all of these characters are like the side background interactable characters in hive swap act two some mm -hmm. of them have a little bit more plot relevance than others but like these are all like the the cast of hive swap act two tm minus the main characters that you meet in act one mm -hmm. so yeah um but yeah just to give you just to give you a vibe it's just a fun little visual novel um, yeah, it's a good time. So, let's get started. There's so many. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's a lot. This is a huge game. It's so much. That this is just to introduce part two of a, <laughs> a game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so, like, the actual backstory of why this game got produced is because, um for a long and extended series of reasons that we do not need to get into right now, uh, the development team ran out of money between making mm -hmm. Act 1 and Act 2, uh, and this was the solution. Um, each of these yeah. volumes was sold separately. Um, and it it, 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 it it was good. Like, I, I don't think there's anybody who was, like, upset with this game's release or the way it was published. Yeah, I mean, that's a good strategy. Out of money, yeah. make a little of, of extra thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because it wasn't, like, terribly expensive. I think each of the, the volumes were a dollar except for the first one, Yeah, it's one, like right? a couple bucks. Yeah, I think it ends up being... Whole game's, like, maybe 30 bucks at most. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so there's just there's just so much... Uh, I don't feel like I, was this something I got as part of backing the Kickstarter? I forget. Um, either way, it's a good time. Dami, you've said that you've used it to get people into Homestuck or was yeah, that Hiveswap? Yeah. Yeah, this. I have used both this and Hiveswap to get people into Homestuck, uh, to varying degrees of success, but this, this game's the most successful. Uh, I feel like I, I told you, uh, whenever we did uh, Hiveswap Act 1, the first part, but like Jack Septicai played through Hive Swap, uh, Hive Swap Act One. I, I'm like mm -hmm. butchering that word. <laughs> uh, and just you know, an alternate universe where Key goes to Ham and gets into Hive Swap, or gets into mm -hmm. Homestuck. I mean, even just Hive Swap. He never did the <laughs> Act Two. Ooh. But um, yeah. So there's just plenty of characters for people to obsess over, um, and hate. You know, that's part of obsessing over. Obsessing over isn't yeah. inherently positive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't know why I'm vamping. Um, anticipation. Uh, Moosey, do you want to read for this section? I was thinking that we could swap off or um, like I could read this one. And then when we get to the second uh, part, you could read for that. Or you can just hang out and I can read all of it or or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um. So is the... 
main character speaking vocally or is there there's a... like it's 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 one of those situations where the main character is handled entirely through third person narration mm -hmm. the main character doesn't get like speaking lines most oh. of the time okay uh i mean i could read it or whatever you guys were gonna do troll voices or something uh, yeah, yeah, Dami, Dami is going to do the troll voice, and then uh, Justin's going to come in for the next one to do the troll voice. So between the two of us, we we can have breaks. It's just you know, the okay. narrator, obviously the uh, the main character, obviously has a lot more to say. Ooh. Well, uh, I will defer to what you think is best. <laughs> um, I'll I'll start it off just to give you the vibe, and then when we get to the next part, or if my voice gets worn out, we can switch off. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Okay. You have just crashed landed on a planet called Alternia and staggered from the smoldering wreckage of your ship. You are now completely alone in a strange world. Desperate for information, for provisions, and possibly a bit of medical attention. But most of all, you are desperate for... Friends. Friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Won't someone on this godforsaken rock be your buddy? Any weirdo will do. You're not that picky. Do keyboard things work? There we go. I'm trying to figure out which is going to be quieter, my mouse or the keyboard. Hang on. What's this now? Is someone approaching? I love that. It's just like a little simple thing. Like, I don't mm. know. I still love it. Uh, obviously. Huh? Sausage horns. Yeah. 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 He looks He's a so hot sad. dog guy. He's a hot dog guy. He's a hot dog man. <laughs> His entire personality. He's hot yeah. dog. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know how the trolls in uh, um, Hive Bent were initially introduced as kind of two-dimensional characters and some really never grew out of that? What was Hive Bent? <laughs> oh, sorry. That was um, Act 5 where the uh, uh, oh. trolls are introduced. Okay. But yeah, that's okay. kind of this whole game yeah okay we're starting with our data because we have dami here yeah oh does space not work for that <laughs> yes someone is approaching a strange gray-skinned alien clad in blue perhaps they will make for a good friend yeah god and just what are you supposed to be your stammering reply eventually conveys that you are a lost traveler who is hungry and probably in need of some medical treatment. You're also really lonely and wouldn't mind making a new friend right about now. Oh. Oh my. Oh, how funny this is. How very droll. You. You want to be my friend. It's too much. This, this thing at my doorstep. Wishing to know me in any capacity. The hilarity somehow escapes my ability to capture with maniacal laughter. How rare. You apologize for your presumptuous request. You hang your head, turn around, and begin to walk a... And just what the <laughs> fuck do you think you are doing? Who invited you to leave? You stop in your tracks obediently and turn to face her again. Your possibly broken ribs are throbbing in pain, but this does not strike you as the right moment to exhibit weakness. It dawns on me that we may have gotten off on the wrong saunter pod. Where are my manners? Ghastly behavior on my part. Fucking saunter pod. <laughs> it's quite a word. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> After all, it isn't your fault you seem to be some sort of hideous freak, is it? And such a tragic creature cannot be held responsible for such a devastating shortfall of social competence. 
I would weep for you, really. Except that crying out of three eyes at once gets a bit <laughs> messy. So instead, I think I'll be saving my tears for someone less offensively worthless. That would be a pain to cry into <laughs> your own eyeballs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna turn down the music. I feel like it got louder. Mm hmm. The menu theme is a bit quiet. Yeah. Or quieter, at least. Okay. You aren't sure if she's inviting you inside? Or if she just got you to stay a little longer so she could insult you some more? You try to remain stoic while your confrontational new friend decides what to do with you. Unfortunately, you sniffle slightly. <laughs> oh. Oh my, oh dear, you're... sad? <laughs> so amusing to me. Mildly endearing, even. Perhaps. I'll decide later if it's endearing, once I have more information. It's entirely possible I will retroactively decide it's disgusting. I love that. So much. Yeah. I don't know why this line in particular is getting me. I mean, it sounds relatable for, like, any dates I've been on. <laughs> <laughs> so true, God. But for now, try to put yourself at ease, you completely pitiful fool. Not one more sniffle. Do you understand? You nod while, uh, while practicing exemplary control over your nose. You have gotten yourself so agitated. I wonder why. You have nothing to worry about from me. Actually, I'm going to turn down the volume some more. Our voices <laughs> are more the, important than the music. The horns you know? go dirt. Dur. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, you have your volume set on a quiet YouTube video and then the ad comes up and it yeah. clears out. Of course I will be your friend. Conditionally, I mean. There is a chance the designation will be formalized if you behave in ways that I approve of. Starting now. Let's call it a friendship in progress. Agreed? Your heart swells. This is what you've been waiting for. A new friend. Oh gosh. All you have to do now is try not to fuck anything up at all. Possibly for many hours. Come into my hive. This way, after me. You look like you could use nourishment. The after me is very subtle, but very good. This is also, <laughs> I should note, isn't this the, is this the only route? Like these, uh, is this the only volume that Hussey wrote? Uh, I think Hussey wrote both of the, both sections of this volume, and I think that's all that Hussey okay. did. But, you know, they had to start off with the Vriska character. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is that whatever you are eats, generally, but it doesn't matter. You will eat whatever it is I have on hand, if I tell you to. How does that sound? How does it sound? What do you so, think, Lucy? So my goal is to make friends no matter what? <laughs> Pretty much. Um, the choices are, it sounds good. I'll do whatever you say. It sounds fine, I guess. Do you want to place a save here, Jax? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, am I going to die if I choose the... <laughs> the... Well, there's different... Um, so it's not necessarily die, but there's like... There's like an early end and then like a bad end. There's usually two Ooh. and then, you know, the, the normal good end. Is that is that right, Dami, or is there more? Yeah, there's two bad ends and one good end. The first bad end is always very quick. Uh, yeah. Like just goes for your throat immediately. Um, yeah. And then the second one drags on a little. So should I choose? It sounds fine, I guess. <laughs> to choose. Pull that in. Choose whichever one Show you us. want. I want to <laughs> see a bad end. Okay, then it sounds fine, I guess. We'll see. I, I can't remember. Some of these you might assume are the bad ends, but you don't always know. 
This one seems mm. pretty obvious, so let's go for it. Get the fuck <laughs> out of my face and never come back. Which is actually pretty <laughs> merciful for a blue blood. Um, for, a, for a mid-tier. Yeah, yeah, that's mid -blood? true. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> blue blood is the one above her. But they're both blue. Okay. I only had one <laughs> save file. I don't have all my... my I don't know what happened. Okay, other other choice. <laughs> it sounds good. I'll do whatever you say. Obviously it sounds good. You will definitely enjoy it. You will enjoy everything I provide you with and tell you to do. I can't imagine any sort of negativity or disagreement coming from one of my friends. I will assume that we share this philosophy when it comes to friendship. Yeah, you can't be a little bitch to me either. <laughs> you say, oh, yes, absolutely. You nod as enthusiastically as you can without aggravating your broken ribs. You consider giving her a thumbs up as well until you realize one of your arms is probably broken too. Oh, she... You'll try to make sure she doesn't notice, though. It would probably leave a bad impression. Come with me. There's something I need your help with. You follow- sorry, I just was taking in the background. Uh-huh. The it's freaking- good background. <laughs> uh, the handles are horns. Yeah. And yeah. you know they're yeah. real horns. This is Alternia. Oh, a hundred percent they're real horns. Yeah. Okay. You follow her into her hive. It's a bit gloomy in here. You suppose she's going to fix you something to eat soon, as promised. Sorry, I'm still stuck on the horns. Do you think if someone, like, is born <laughs> with, like, horns as, like, oh, these are could be really good used as handles. <laughs> like, they're just very aware of what other purposes their horns could serve. <laughs> and it's like, oh, god damn it. I better, like, play it real cool. Because I, I got some good <laughs> horns for handles yeah. here. Like her horns could be used to cut down a tree or maybe like yeah. some, <laughs> some wheat or something. Right. You pass through her kitchen and out the other side to another room. Okay, you guess dinner can wait. This way, try not to let any of your broken limbs slow you down. A good friend wouldn't allow such trifling physical ailments to cause me any inconvenience. Oh, so you guess she does know you're injured? Uh, fair enough. You hobble a little faster through another door into a much darker room, and now down a flight of stairs? It's hard to see. There are torches along the wall ahead. A monstrous noise rumbles below. Don't mind her. She's just hungry. She's always hungry, though. What's that? You're hungry too? I have not forgotten. What sort of piece of shit friend do you take me for? You did remind her that you're hungry. You thought it though. Can she read your mind? You hope not. That's gonna make this friendship in progress a bit awkward. Here we are. This is where you will be most useful to me as a friend. You nope. look around. Oh, sorry. What? <laughs> just, I just, just, I'm, uh, the background looks suspicious. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't know. It seems fine to me. Fine. <laughs> it seems. It seems chill. Look, she's even got like a portrait of herself on the wall. That's chill. You look around with a. Uh, sorry. You look around, with a sense of relief. You see no sign of whatever hungry thing was grumbling down here. You are less relieved to see several other kids trapped in cages of various shapes and sizes. One of them makes eye contact with you. This boy is the same kind of alien as her, horns and all. He has a dark red symbol on his shirt. His expression seems to plead with you. He struggles to say, Help! Your new friend looks unamused and twitches her finger. Help! Blow! he says hello by which i mean hello of course 
Looks like you're the new friend to progress, chosen by the great and beautiful Ardata. She's my savior, my reason for being. I am nothing without her. I'd hollow myself out and let her make a nest inside of me if, she perm if she'd permit it. You turn away from this boy. You don't want to hear anything he has to say ever again. <laughs> don't mind him. He's always regarded himself as a comedian. Come, over here. This is what I need your help with, if you're going to have any value to me as a friend. You're led to a dank corner of this... Well, you're gonna call it like you see it. This dungeon. Your new friend has a dungeon full of sad, suffering children, and presumably a monster lurking somewhere in here as well. It's not ideal. Then again... Social beggars like you can't be choosers. I've been having an awful time with it. You can do it for me. It will save me time. You look at the thing in question. You doubt she's been having an awful time with it. You doubt this because it's still in its box, looking completely untouched since it was brought down here. It's a box containing a... Table? A table that looks ominously like it was designed to keep a person strapped to its surface. For a minute I thought she was going to have us assemble Ikea furniture. I mean, Ikea furniture might serve that purpose. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Ikea this is alternative. here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that too. I will need you to assemble it. Here's a screwdriver, in case you need it. I will assume other required tools are contained within the box. I wonder how they decide what is going to get an Alternian dumb version of the name or not. <laughs> <laughs> you take the screwdriver with your non-broken arm. This isn't exactly what you had in mind. You don't know what you had in mind, really. A warm meal and friendly banter. Perhaps a sling for your arm and a remedial bomb for your ribs. Still, you open the box without protest. Hold on. Before you start, this will make for excellent content. Friska as an influencer. <laughs> My fans will appreciate this. She sets up a video recording device on a tripod and points it at you. A video feed comes to life on several monitors just behind you. You see in one corner of a screen an unflattering angle of your torso hunched over the furniture box. Other rectangles contain shots of the other kids in cages around the room. You suppose cameras are pointing at them, too. You had no idea this friendship came with the perk of instant stardom. Now you may begin. She's suddenly sitting in a comfortable looking chair facing you and holding a chalice, swishing it around, er, sw swishing around some viscous liquid it contains. You have all the parts spread out on the floor, organized according to their labels and the instructions. You try to remember the last time you assembled something like this. You don't recall enjoying it. To be perfectly honest, this doesn't look like it'll be fun at all. She frowns conspicuously. Oh. How sad for you. I'm sorry, is this activity not to your liking? You reassure her vigorously that no, it actually looks amazing. You love shit like this. It's what you were born for, you say, as you swish the screwdriver around, demonstrating your plainly evident skill with the tool. Forget the thing you just thought. Completely arbitrary and wrong thoughts pop into your head all the time. It meant nothing, you swear. <laughs> and before we started the stream I literally talked about not wanting to buy a bookshelf because I didn't want to put it together yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes I hear that a lot continue you open the little bag full of screws Jesus there are like 50 screws in this thing where could most of these screws possibly even go Judging from the picture, the table doesn't really seem that complicated. You look at your screwdriver, then suddenly, or then study the screws. Every single one requires an Allen wrench. 
Does this even come with an Allen wrench? The instructions seem to suggest it does. You look around, but you don't see one. Did you open the bag too forcefully? Did the Allen wrench go bouncing off into some dark dungeon crevice nearby? Maybe you lost some of the screws too. Damn it. You begin to sweat and look around nervously. You check underneath one of the parts. No, it's not under there. You grip the screwdriver a little tighter. You wonder what to do next. Save. Oh. Oh. Okay, he just I scroll. Yeah. <laughs> I uh I accidentally hit my scroll wheel. I keep almost hitting quit game instead of close menu. <laughs> Options. Get the hell out of there. Or just do your best assembling the, for the table. This is what friends are for. I suppose we should just try to assemble the table. Yeah. We don't want to get rejected again. <laughs> <laughs> you decide it would be best to not complain about the missing Allen wrench. Your friend would probably consider it bad form. You'll just make do and... Twist in all the screws <laughs> by hand as best you can. Your broken arm isn't making this any easier. You favor the other one and prop pieces in, into place precariously, leaning against each other while you nudge them into position with your legs so the screws, screw holes align. It's really frustrating work, you're not going to lie. As you are twisting in the first screw, the grooves slip and the screw gets stuck. But you've already turned it too tight. Now it's hard to get out. Mm -hmm. You twist in reverse harder. But your fingers slip and the table pieces start to slide. They're going to fall. You react to catch them, but it's too late. The heavier piece tips over and slams you in the broken ribs on its way to the floor. It hits the floor with a bang. The screw stuck... The screw... Oh my gosh. The stuck screw pops out and goes bouncing 10 or 15 feet away settling deep underneath a piece of dungeon furniture god you're probably going to need to get that you hear a light chuckle good good she takes another sip from her chalice and settles even more comfortably into her chair is she enjoying this you think she's enjoying watching you struggle to put this stupid thing together maybe a little too much nevertheless you continue a friend is a friend and you don't like to let your friends down you've committed yourself to this project you will get the screw out from under there in a, a bit later maybe when you need the final screw you turn your attention back to the table pieces and try a different strategy you place the biggest part the table platform flat on the floor the legs would be pointing upward if they were attached you position one leg at the right spot in alignment with the holes, sit on the table platform and steady the leg with your feet. You grab another screw and concentrate. <laughs> she sounds so pleased. It's strange, you admit, for watching this sort of activity to make someone so happy. But you also have to admit to taking a certain pride in it. It's wonderful, actually, to feel useful, wanted. Important even, if only somewhat menially, to a great new friend who has discovered a way for your talents to improve her life. Out of the corner of your eye, you notice one of the cage kids reaching out with his hand. He's concentrating. Then you notice the screw you lost slowly slide out from underneath its hiding place. Nice. Everyone's working <laughs> like a team down here. Ardana does not look at the kid, but sneers a bit. She reaches toward him, and he appears to have trouble breathing. After a moment, you notice the screw slowly slides back under the thing. She releases him from his breathing problems, resumes her pleasant expression, and takes another sip from the chalice. She's kind of OP, uh, mm -hmm. not gonna lie. Oh, yeah. With, you know, both telekinesis and uh, uh, telepathy. Those are the two, yeah. right? I used the right two? Yeah, you did. Okay. I have no idea. <laughs> You guess that was against the rules? You decide to make a note of it. Your friend runs a tight ship down here. You respect that. About an hour later, you have all four legs on, plus some other accoutrement. Accoutrement? Attached. Yeah, accoutrement. Accoutrement. French. <laughs> 
You wrestle mightily with the thing to get it upright, using your only good arm. It seems she may have forgotten about the final missing screw. You doubt the table needs it. You decide you won't bring it up if she won't. You give it a test. It's pretty wobbly since you were only able to tighten the screws with your bare fingers. But again, she doesn't seem to mind. She reclines and has a look on her face which makes her appear absolutely enamored of your handiwork. She has finished her drink and took the chalice uh, and the chalice is on a side table. Some awful looking thing crawls along the floor toward her. It looks like some sort of spider the size of an average dog. Its abdomen is preposterously, preposterously large. Actually, you think it's a huge tick. That's what it looks like. Gross. Yeah. It settles just in front of her. She puts her legs on top of it and crosses them. It settles under their weight and grumbles. Let's try it out, shall we? You shrug and sit down on the rather rickety table. You're about to lie down, but she interrupts you. No. You fool. You absolute fool. What do you think you're doing? That's not what I meant. Get up. You stand up, embarrassed. Again, without looking at the cage kid, she raises an arm toward him and beckons. He stares blankly and opens his own cage, which apparently wasn't locked. He shuffles vacantly over to your table and lies down on the surface. She looks at you expectantly. You aren't sure what to do. What? You didn't think I'd be playing table stickball on that thing, did you? You aren't sure what table <laughs> stickball is. Oh, you really are pretty simple, aren't you? It's like a miniature version of arena stickball. Played on a table. <laughs> Moosey, do you remember Arena Stickball? Um, was that what the other kid played and he had the big safe or something in yep. this room? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Got it? You don't, but you nod. Now, go to it. <laughs> you shackle the kid's arms and legs to the table. That seems to be the right thing to do, since the thing comes fitted with shackles. She gets up and lifts her huge tick-like pet. It makes more grumpy noises. She plops the enormous thing right down on the kid's chest. He appears rendered unable to protest. The tick bites the boy's neck and begins to feed. She smiles and pats its swelling abdomen. Dark, rust-colored blood dribbles from the place where it has attached to the boy's neck. Moments go by. Well, she looks gratified by the process, proud almost, then she looks at you expectantly. Yeah, no, ticks are so gross. I remember, yeah. like, dog ticks, and, and sh dog ticks are the worst. Well? You don't know what she means. The final screw. Aren't you going to retrieve it and screw it into wherever it needs to go? The job isn't done. I don't keep the company of many individuals who leave things unfinished, you know. Of course. What were you thinking? You should have known your friend wouldn't let that go unnoticed. Actually, you feel like an idiot for thinking it would. You stoop very low to the ground on your knees, placing your cheek just above the floor. You peer under the large edifice. It's dark in there and goes back a ways. Lots of room for that darn little screw, screw to roll. You take a few pitiful swipes with your good arm, but come up empty. It must be further back. You think you can see it? Yeah, that must be it. Just a little further. You have an Yay. idea. <laughs> <laughs> a tool would, would be helpful. Guess the screwdriver will come in handy after all. Hmm, how did she know? Your new friend must be very wise. You think you're liking her more every minute. You grab the screwdriver and feel around with it. You, yes. You got it, you think. You carefully scrape it closer to yourself and then pick it up. You then go back to the table and find the one remaining hole you left unscrewed. You slide under the table as a mechanic would with a car. There it is. The table is creaking and wobbling quite a bit now. 
The tick is really getting uh. into its dinner, it seems. I know. The swelling with the blood and everything. <laughs> it's so gross. Yeah, Tommy, yeah. you have a your your fave has a gross uh glasses. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we we'll... love we love her gross mom. <laughs> yeah, do we? I do. <laughs> oh well you would. I would. Uh, <laughs> All the loose screws in the table have added up to a lot of give and leeway in the overall stability of the furnishing. Maybe the final screw will help. Ardata has returned to the setup with the monitors. She's adjusting some settings on the feed, controlling the zoom of the camera, and typing some remarks into a chat window. <laughs> this is very good material today. Do you think it was on purpose that they put the streamer as the first one? considering you know a lot of people would be streaming this game and like yeah technically you can pick the other guy first but we read left to right so we'd be more likely uh -huh. to pick her first i, I think know, it's I'm just, uh, sorry it's feeding ticks uh against terms of service on twitch <laughs> mm -hmm. it's a good question it's a very good question It's not often that I can provide content of this caliber to my subscribers. Go on, complete your project. This will be very good. You still think it's weird that she likes watching you put furniture together so much, but you're not one to judge friends. Sounds like a great way to lose friends, honestly. You screw the final screw, but the stresses on the table are causing the holes to be misaligned. This won't be easy. The huge tick shifts its grotesque body above you, causing the table to creak loudly. You nervously slide halfway out from under the table to check it out. Then, a loud pop. Then the sound of scraping metal. Six or seven screws shoot out from of the desk like rivets in a sinking submarine. What a piece of shit this thing is, you think a little too late. <laughs> You really needed that Allen wrench. All four legs play dramatically out from underneath it all at once, like a BBD or on ice. The table platform comes cr crushing down into your lower torso, breaking your pelvis. You bellow in pain and flail to pull yourself out. Oh, gross. You forgot that you're still holding oh. the screwdriver in your desperate flailing, and you plunge the screwdriver into the fat abdomen of the tick, which begins gushing rust blood with a great force, spraying your entire upper body and face. The beast starts thrashing wildly and screaming. You can't see your new friend due to the blood in your eyes, but you can imagine she's- uh, you can't imagine she's thrilled about what's going on here. Your annihilated pelvis is in perfect agony. You have to get your miserable torso out from under the shitty table. You have an idea. With your broken arm, you start slapping the big ass of the screaming <laughs> tick while yelling, Yeehaw! <laughs> you clutch the screwdriver handle with your other hand hard. The blood gushing monster starts kicking and rearing, then blasts off across the dungeon floor like a pig at a rodeo. You hold on for dear life, still blind, but your plan works. You've been pulled out from under the, the tomb you've spent the last hour constructing for yourself. <laughs> Look at our Donna flashing across the screen. <laughs> your pelvis is in ruins, but at least you're free now and riding like the wind. As you and the blood spewing tick go tearing around the room, crashing into stuff, you hear a boy crying. You guess our Donna became distracted enough by your foolish display to seize her paralyzation method on him. Or maybe distracted is the wrong word. Maybe she's disappointed by your foolishness? Oh god, you might be blowing it right now. <laughs> the tick swerves suddenly and starts running up the stairs. Ow, ow, ow. Your brittle pelvis feels every step on the way up. It careens through the rest of the hive, crashes through the front door, then comes to a sudden halt. You're catapulted violently over its backside and sail 50 yards through the air. You land on your ass and wipe the blood from your eyes. Okay, this was embarrassing. But everyone makes mistakes, right? You can still salvage this friendship. You know you can. You turn back <laughs> to look at her hive. Ardata is standing in her doorway with a furious <laughs> look on her face. She is flipping you off. 
You will not be my friend. Oh no! Rejection! <laughs> so that decision I made like five years ago? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Playing along was the wrong decision all along. You fool. <laughs> you absolute you fool. rube. Yeah, this is you why it's incredible like... incredible simpleton. <laughs> yeah, that's why you can't always trust what seems to be obvious. Uh, hold on a second. BRB. Mm -hmm. Is this on mute? Is it not going to mute? Fine. I'll mute it this way. How are you feeling about it so far? <laughs> uh... <laughs> That part felt like a weird fetish thing. Like, oh yeah, I want to be tortured, strapped to something and tortured by a tick, eaten by a tick. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. No, it. I, I can't. I can't deny the. I can't deny it that that's that's what's going on. <laughs> I can't deny that our Dada, for some goddamn reason, has a furniture assembly fetish. <laughs> oh, so she's like uh, Mr. Vance. What? <laughs> Mr. Vance? Mr. Oh, Vance. What's, his, what's his name? JD Vance? JD oh, Vance? This is a rumor about the sofa. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's right. Um, yeah, I just realized that, furniture. <laughs> that I, I muted the stream, but I didn't mute for you guys, so you got to hear me blowing my nose. <laughs> anyway. Oh, that's all right. Then we'll check the stream audio. Yeah, I should have unmuted. Should be good. Okay. Well, I guess my motivations are questionable because I really want a friend, but I'm only <laughs> willing to go along with it the first time around. So we're going to get the hell out of there now. First, you clear your head and try to think innocent thoughts. Fluffy clouds in the sky. Ironing some clothes. A winning touchdown pass from the sports. Ardata's long black hair spilling over her cloak. Her... Wait. Those are not innocent thoughts. Shut it down. Shut it down. There's no time for thinking. You have to act. You hurl the screwdriver at her and run. She calmly lifts a hand towards one of the kids in the cage, uh, cages. The kid tenses up and lifts a hand in the direction of the screwdriver. The screwdriver freezes midair, right in front of our Dada's head. You run up the stairs. She twitches a finger. The cage kid does a full body spasm, and excuse me, the screwdriver goes sailing toward you. It stabs deep into your leg, and you buckle over, tumbling backward down the stairs. You're a crumpled heap at the bottom of the stairs, bleeding, and you think your arm is broken in two places now. That no. didn't seem very friendly to me. Luckily for you, I'm very determined to make relationships work. Even ones with people who flee simple furniture assembly mm -hmm. projects. She stands over you. You attempt to pull the screwdriver out of your leg, but your entire body locks up. You can't move. She holds an outstretched hand just above you. See, she's very nice because if you're impaled with something, you shouldn't pull it out. You shouldn't. <laughs> I recently yeah. did a rant about it in my uh, server because I was reading a book where I thought they would know better. And no, they had them pull the pull the arrow out. You don't do it, man. You don't. Yeah. You shouldn't try to move yet. And you certainly shouldn't try to pull out that screwdriver. You'll get blood everywhere. Ardana knows. She knows. <laughs> you know, she might have had practice with impaling things and how much they bleed afterward. You don't know. To my three little eyes under the present conditions, it seems to me that only one of us should attempt walking up these stairs. You feel relieved. Perhaps she has some alien means of levitating you up the stairs? Wait, no. Your body is tensing up again. It's moving without your permission. You get to your feet without taking the screwdriver out. Wow, that hurts. What is she making you 
Wait. What? She can't be. You'll use both of your arms and all of your strength and pick her up entirely. <laughs> the pain from your arm is excruciating. Arms with broken bones are not meant for heavy lifting. The additional weight on your wounded leg isn't great either. You hold her as a groom would hold a bride. She wraps her arms around your neck to hang on uh, to hang on to you in what strikes you as a overly familiar manner. She looks directly into your eyes and grins. This is better. Now, onward and upward, new friend. <laughs> Your legs begin to operate without your consent. They wobble and struggle under the weight. The wound throbs. You lumber back up the long flight of stairs, carrying her all the way. You take her back to the kitchen and set her down in a chair seated at a table. You didn't think I'd forget about dinner time, did you? Let's put your unfriendly behavior behind us. It's a good thing for you that I'm benevolent enough to overlook disgusting acts of betrayal. You may have noticed I keep several friends in my hive who I have similarly forgiven. Consider the transgression blood beneath the abattoir. You exhale. Now that she mentions it, yes, you are hungry. Maybe a warm meal will lift your spirits and get this here heretofore turbulent friendship back on track. Maybe you'll even get the chance to pull the screwdriver out of your leg. You pull out a chair and attempt to sit down, but your legs lock up and then you stand again. Apparently this was not the right thing to do. How is just... uh, healthcare in troll land? Do they have uh, healthcare for all? What do you, what are your, what are your <laughs> thoughts about what Eternia would be like for health care? Especially I think it would for... be exactly like here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, pretty much. Uh, I mean, like, okay, so, like, this is bad and, like, losing your, your control of your own body is bad. But at the same time, like, if there is a way for someone to subtly, like, adjust what you're doing because you are not fitting the social expectations of the time, like, you go to a restaurant and you're not supposed to sit down yet, but you think it's one of those seat yourself places, and suddenly your body just freezes and you remain standing, and you're like, oh, I stay here and I wait. Okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> when I go to social events, can someone just telepathically control me so I don't actually have to do the mental work? Right, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to socialize. Yeah, operate my body for me yeah. temporarily just so that I get the social cues all right. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but why are you sitting? There's cooking to be done. You stagger mechanically over to the fridge and open it. You pull out a large hock of some sort of alien mystery meat and put it on the counter. With your broken arm, you reach in anguish for a bit of dangling meat cleaver. For a big, not a bit of, a big <laughs> dangling meat cleaver. You chop the hock, wincing with every swing of the cleaver. You place the sliced meat in a frying pan, sear it lightly, and serve it on a plate very rare. Just the way your new friend likes it. You didn't know that's the way she likes it, but you surmise this is what she... Is, this is what she prefers in a piece of meat, since technically she's the one doing the cooking. You put it on the table in front of her, along with the fork and knife beside it. Your muscles relax as you apparently are allowed to control your own body again. She does nothing except look at you with the pleased expression. Also, is it almost as much effort for her to mentally control your, like, yeah. <laughs> every every movement. Like, it's just a power move. It's not like any yeah. less work for her except technically physically. I feel 100%. like it'd be like one of those doctors using a remote surgery machine and oh, yeah. you have to have really good like control over it. You have to be really experienced at how to remotely cook. How many trolls got their <laughs> hands chopped off the first couple of times she tried to control them to cut stuff? Oh, that's, that's just bonus. Happened. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they no, just, uh, the fingers get added to the frying pan, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Waste not. 
You eye the meat in front of her, then the meat on the counter, and the chair on the other side of the table. What should you do? Prepare a plate for yourself? Is that what she wants you to do? Well... It looks like you're confused. Isn't it obvious what to do next under your own volition? A good friend would know what to do. In fact, I don't think a good friend would take nearly as long to decide what the right thing to do next is. It actually seems to me that a very rude friend would hesitate for as long as you are hesitating. Or perhaps someone who is not a friend at all. Does she want us to cut her steak for her? That that's my thought. I have I've played these routes once, maybe some of them twice. So it's been a while and I don't remember I like I remember the, the big things, but I don't remember the little things like this. <laughs> you begin to sweat again. You clearly don't have much time to make up your mind. If you wait for even a few seconds longer, you'll probably be guilty of being a bad friend. Maybe even a dreadful one. I think uh, we should pull out the... Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out because in my culture, where I'm from, this is what we would do. You see, I'm an alien on your planet and this is what we do. <laughs> um, and it doesn't seem like you'd want me to do that. So I'm just trying to figure out the social... I mean, not that that would necessarily work for our data, but I, I do think yeah. that, that we should pull that out. Uh -huh. Play the alien card. That's not the type of person you like to think you are. What will you do? I've... Oh, feed her. Okay. I... This isn't to... gonna. <laughs> this isn't gonna be like a trick where there's a hidden button, is there? I don't think there's nah, any hidden buttons nah. in this game. Okay. No. <laughs> this feels like the only obvious thing to do. She is looking up at you quite expectantly. You reach for the fork with your good arm. You go for the knife with your other. Ow. I wonder if there was going to be a, um, another option for another bad end. And they're like, hussy, we can only have so many bad ends in this game. <laughs> like, there's only so many in a route. Stop it. Nah, nah. I think that it, it was just for the, 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 the fucked up moment of having to click that button. Fair you enough. Know? Yeah. <laughs> You can't do it. The arm is much less serviceable when the muscles are not being forced via psychic override to disregard the pain response. Nevertheless, she looks at you patiently and smiles. That's nice of her, you think? Not to be mad about it. You feel like you're growing closer to, you new, to your new friend by the minute. You put the fork down and pick up the knife with your good arm. You cut the meat into several pieces with a careful sawing motion. You put the knife down and pick up the fork and stab a piece. You put it close to her mouth, and she seems pleased. Very good. Nice technique. Well-sized morsels, too. She chews the meat with excellent form. She has very good table manners, you think. When she finishes the pieces, you slice off some more and continue. The meat looks very good. Your mouth is watering, but she doesn't offer you any. Oh well, when it's the right time for you to eat too, you're sure she will let you know. The meal is finished. There is no, no more meat except for a few pieces of unchewable gristle, which you did not try to feed her. That would be thoughtless. Very bad service. She reclines and steeples her fingers, looking quite pleased with how the evening has gone so far. <laughs> Aren't sure why she's laughing. Did you do something funny? <laughs> Discord is cutting out your maniacal oh, laugh for these. That's, that's such a shame. Like, I can kind of hear it, but it's definitely like, it does not like it. It's uh, our dotophobic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> what a fool. You point at yourself, wondering if she's referring to you. You don't know what you've done uh, that was foolish, if so. You're also still not sure what she finds so amusing. <laughs> that one almost got cut out entirely. Discord hates oh, you. Oh, damn. No, I can't. I can't laugh. No laughing. 
No laughing. <laughs> She pauses her laughter for a minute or two, then slowly begins to frown. A faint blue tear rolls down her cheek from her bottom eye. The truth is, I don't even know why I'm laughing. I laugh maniacally as a coping mechanism. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't very funny, what's happening here. It was a good dinner. You did a good job, whoever you are. She puts her face into both of her hands and sobs quietly. You have no idea what to do about this. You stand there, still holding the fork, feeling a bit useless. There is a lot of pressure, you know. Being so respected and admired for your high status in this world. I did ask for this, to be superior to so many. Much is expected of you. Much is presumed about what your personality will be before you even develop one. You work hard and build a brand based only on what you think people assume you should be like. Sometimes I wonder... Am I even that good at being sinister? Could I be more sinister if I tried harder? Maybe this is not my true calling after all. I just want the Homestuck Made This World guys to play through High Stop Friends Sim and comment on it. Because this is such a d direct response to Vriska fans. I, like Vriska yeah. theorizing. No. Ardata is a Vriska, and she's a Vriska that's meant to call you out if you think Vriska did nothing wrong. Yeah. You begin to offer words of sympathy. This all seems heartbreaking to you. You're a poor new friend, but your jaw muscles contract and your mouth shuts involuntarily. You guess it's not your turn to speak yet? Okay, that works for you. You like to be a good listener to your friends. What would happen if I changed my brand? If I stopped being so sinister online? Okay, dummy, you have a bit of an echo. <laughs> it feels like it's getting a little what? worse. An I don't echo. know. Yeah, like there's... Like, my voice is echoing? Yeah. I'm not hearing an echo. Oh, it's coming from Moosey. Uh, Justin says it's oh. coming from Moosey. I'm echoing? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess I don't hear it. I don't know. Justin's typing some more. I didn't even notice him hopping in. Oh, that's not where I meant to do that. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Justin's typing some more. We're waiting. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Moosey, you got your headphones in or you have the, do you still have yeah. the stream on or something? No, I closed all that. Um, I could reset my computer, but nah, I, it's not, it's not too bad. Justin, is it too bad? Justin says, eh. Okay. I could lower my volume. You could also turn me personally down a little bit in Discord if you like. Okay, I'll try that. We'll see if that sounds okay. Yeah, okay, okay, cool. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt your, you know, this nah, big moment of speech. Yeah, the monologue. <laughs> the monologue. What, what would happen if I changed my brand? If I stopped being so sinister online? My friends and followers will deride and reject me. And my superiors will eat me alive. If I show weakness, if I scale back on my bloodthirsty content... Will I incur the scorn of a wise-ass clown with a hundred million subscribers? Is this, uh, oh my god, what's his name? Tommy, what's his name? Marcus. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it could be. I want it to be. I want it to be. <laughs> Will I be in a cage someday, listening to a fucking fool honk his horn for likes? Innuendo. <laughs> oh. No, I must persist. How lonely it is to know this is all I can do until the day I leave this planet. I have no material or sensory comforts left for me here. Until I can get on a ship and fly away, pain is my only solace. Like, they don't even need to play through all of Fransom. It'd be great, but they just need to play <laughs> this route. Just this one. Yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> Your hand holding the fort grips it tighter. You're horrified to realize what is in the uh, what it is in the process of doing. You bring it down hard on her hand, which is placed flat on the table. She doesn't flinch or react in any way. Three trails of cerulean blood flow from the tines where they pierce her skin. That wasn't friendly, you think? But then you weren't the one who did it, were you? You're so confused. My subscribers are not real friends. They adore me only for my sinister content, the show I provide, my wicked, infectious laughter. I get jealous of them sometimes because they get to watch my content. <laughs> it must be thrilling, I think, but maybe. I'm just jealous of them because they get to be people who aren't me. This is fucking deep, I know. Apologies if you cannot relate. Okay. If <laughs> one streamer or YouTuber or influence were to have a monologue like this, who would it be? <laughs> oh, I don't God. actually watch streamers that much. Yeah, I'm not. I, I don't know the big names is the thing, right? Yeah, I asked... <laughs> This is the group of the three people the least yeah. likely I, to know the names of anyone. I do think, just given his whole vibe, it would be deeply fucking funny if Alpha Rad went that off would like be this. So, <laughs> that would be so funny if Alpha Rad did this. This would be. I think he would do it, and people wouldn't know if he was being ironic or not. I yeah, want him yeah. to do this. I want to, like, <laughs> slide him our daughter's monologue with some changes. <laughs> and have him read it so bad. Um, I, Moosey, I assume you don't know Alpha Rad? That sounds familiar. I might need to look it up. He's a, uh, I guess he does more than he just started... Pokemon. I know him as a Pokemon streamer. Yeah. He started as, like, a Smash Brothers YouTuber and then oh. uh, graduated into, like, Pokemon and a bunch of other stuff. He does, like, uh, I animated don't recognize... stuff on occasion now. But he's also very notable for, like, Being doing... friends with Jaden. Being yeah, friends with Jaden. And doing, <laughs> like, spectacularly high, pre like, high, uh, high effort, uh, not, like pranks necessarily on other youtubers but like inviting everyone over for a dinner and then suddenly being like and now it's a talent show and you have to do a talent right now in front of everyone it's what everyone is afraid that sam reich is going to do to them if suddenly have them be on game changer yeah uh justin wants to add pokemon too many types version justin you can also just unmute and say stuff whenever you want yeah, but it's you, fine you, if you just here. want to type <laughs> I, I have it up so I can pay it's attention not, and read it out. It's not my turn yet. I told you beforehand <laughs> that you could come and like riff with us if you wanted. <laughs> Welcome to the party. Yeah. G um, glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, plus it's almost your um, turn. Now that I look at the screen, I don't want to be at this party. Yeah, yeah, this is a bad <laughs> party. <laughs> and this is, you know... The best part of the bad party. It's true. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, Justin, did you have an opinion on what influencer or YouTuber or whoever would, would give our daughter a speech? It's okay if not. <laughs> I feel like I've 
actually heard it <laughs> from Jesse Cox a lot. Who's Jesse Cox? Uh, a one, he's one of the gaming news guy. Yeah, yeah, he's he's one of like sort of the old guard of YouTube. He was back when like uh, Polaris and Maker Studios were a thing. God, um, he was on Co-optional. Don't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he is. He's. He's talked a lot about like Ooh. I have to do these things, or YouTube will be mad at me. Ooh, I know. I know. I've got a really good answer. I don't think you're prepared for this one. No, no. Jontron. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jontron would. I haven't kept up with that, that guy. Kind of... You know, after Jontron would. Jontron would give the speech ironically. He would not mean it. Mm. I don't oh. know about that. <laughs> Hello, we have a chat. A, a ro Arrow Archfey. There we go. Those are words. Arrow Archfey says, Hello. 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 Ooh, woo. No, it's, it's, oh, it's, oh, whoa. Like, Arrow. The letter like o. Yeah. I see. <laughs> yeah. I don't think our daughter would, oh, whoa, in any circumstance. <laughs> It's actually uh, from no, MSPR's our, perspective. Ow! Oh. <laughs> no, our our daughter would uwo o o w o. Okay. Oh, like, <laughs> like, like they literally just posted in chat. Yeah. There we go. Yep. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, she pulls the fork out of her hand and lays it gently on the plate of gristle you didn't feed her. The people downstairs in their cages aren't my friends either. Wild. Wild if true, Ardana. <laughs> Tell me it isn't so. They act like they're my friends, though. And sometimes I even believe it. Errorge Fay. 8 O eight W O. I'm I don't I know. I almost how to feel like that. it I almost feel like it would be the other way around so that you could pronounce it better, and it would just be oh wait. Oh wait! Oh wait! If Ardana has her sprite flipped, yeah, yeah. But they don't really want to be friends with me. Nobody does. Maybe because you tortured and imprisoned them. Have you ever thought about that? <laughs> no. She the hasn't. only <laughs> the only person who has ever really wanted to be my friend, who's ever tried to be is you do you clear your throat and point to yourself innocently that's it i've decided you have passed the test you will become my friend officially as such I think a reward is in order. You are overjoyed. Your heart starts racing. You can't believe it. A new, real friend. But you don't have much time to enjoy this achievement. Your body is doing something again. You bend down in a strained motion and pick up the plate and fork. You position the plate over your wide open mouth and scrape in all... The remaining I knew this gristle and begin chewing. <laughs> it's virtually inedible. Your mouth humors the act of chewing for two seconds, and then you swallow all of it whole in one painful gulp. Tastes like friendship. Friendship. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. They should have had some blood coming out of the, uh, out yeah, of the hand. Yeah, yeah. But I, I love these these end title screens so much. They're just like, kind of They're shitty. So much fun. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Oh, we did it. <laughs> My girl, I love her it so much. <laughs> yeah. You made a friend. Game over. Game done. G game done. And now I actually freaking have it I, I i don't think you were on call justin but like i don't know what happened to my maybe i played it on my laptop and did i just replay some of the routes for this no um the, the same thing happened to me actually something occurred to the people who were playing it 
while they were coming out. Oh. Interesting. Um, yeah. Okay. Friendship. You found out that being a Cerulean blood is hard and nobody understands. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard and nobody understands. That's what he said. Uh, Arch Arrow. Ar Arrow? I'm Arrow Archfey. I just switched it's around the A's. It's just three real words. I know. Arrow I just, Archfey. I just went Arch Arrow Fey, you know? Uh, it says, true Homestuck fashion. I didn't catch which one that was in reference to, but I'm going to assume it's the things broke while we were playing it. Yeah. 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 They didn't. Uh, I am trying my best. <laughs> I'm not. Future save games once they continued developing it, so it just nukes your save game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't ask you how you. Uh, wh what do you think about Ardata's route? Uh. uh <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be her friend, I don't think. <laughs> you probably safely say that for most of these characters. Oh, no. I mean, it's, they're, they're all turning in trolls. What do you want? <laughs> like, Yeah. They're all a little fucked up. At yeah. Least. This is all beginning again. Hot dog man. Are you ready, Justin? I uh, just consumed a hot dog while I was on call, but muted. That's um, so good. good for for um <laughs> in preparation. In preparation. <laughs> yeah. That's so good. Uh method acting at its finest. His hot dog bun looks like a celery. <laughs> um yeah, celery bun. I'm sure someone crazy has done that. That sounds terrible. Mm -hmm. Does Moosey get to narrate now? Oh yeah. Does Moosey want to? I I guess I can. I'm not gonna make you narrate if you don't want to. <laughs> yeah. I'll do it. I mean, I, I, I can still narrate. That that's the thing is like, you're not forcing me to narrate. Still, I like narrating, but I also want to give you a chance and not hog the whole thing. Even though it is my podcast and my channel. I feel like I'll stumble stumble over my words trying to read out loud, but yeah. I can try to give it a shot if you if you want, but. I'll, I'm I'll, fine also if you want to narrate. Okay, I'll I'll keep doing it. Um, I just, I don't, I want to give you the option, but I like narrating. I'm just going to take mm -hmm. a quick water break. Mm -hmm. While they're doing that, I do want to point out that um, I have not played this route since it came out. I have never heard anybody voice act it before, and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so if this is, if if the voice that I, and I'm also not a voice actor. So if the voice that I do is wildly outside of your expectations, I'm sorry. Nah, those are the best ways to, to do it. Honestly. I'm trying to remember who we Give had for the, take. for the friend sim dub. Do you remember, Dami? Not a clue. The route never came out. Yeah, true. But we still <laughs> had, we had everyone. We had someone for everyone. Oh, I didn't freaking narrate, did I? No, nope. you didn't. Go back. Go, Go back. back. Scroll wheel. Scroll wheel. Scroll wheel. <laughs> yes, someone is approaching. A strange gray-skinned alien with a cozy-looking vest. Perhaps they will make for a good friend? What's up? Is that oof. absolute value of oof? <laughs> it's hot dog buns. No, it's inside oh. a hot dog. What is the absolute value of oof, Moosey? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's oof because it's not negative oof. Right. The absolute value of negative oof is regular oof. <laughs> so if he's no, sad saying oof, then it's positive <laughs> oof? <laughs> anyway. Huh. I, hang on, sorry. I didn't get a good look at you before I started talking. You're a real freak. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess you're really weird looking. I'm not sure, though. <laughs> kind of uncomfortable about this. Your stammering reply eventually conveys that you are a lost traveler who is hungry and probably in some need of medical treatment. You're also really lonely and wouldn't mind making a new friend right about now. Hungry, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I see what your game is. You aren't sure what he's talking about. Then your eyes drift toward the obvious target. 
that exquisite hot dog he's holding. It looks really, really good. Your mouth starts Does watering it? noticeably. It's got I mean, spikes on it and everything. What more do you want from like a hot dog? It looks like it's got black licorice on it. I thought those would be like maybe really big sesame seeds or something. Oh, um, <laughs> this is Bug World, so I assume they're bug legs. Oh, I assumed like like uh, like mandible like pincers. Oh yeah, that works. <laughs> oh no, I knew it. You're just like all the rest. Ollie the rest? What? Wait, hold on. Go back up. Huh? The scroll wheel. I did it the wrong way. You're just like Ollie the rest. Yeah, okay. What? You're just like all I the rest. Something, there was something on my screen that turned oh. that L into an I. That's weird. <laughs> okay, I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Your agenda is to have me relinquish my... Delicacy. <laughs> well, forget it. I've been tricked out of two other hoblong meat products this week already. Oh. I know you probably think I'm an easy mark due to my blood color, but I still have some dignity at least. <laughs> <laughs> if that uh, bothers anybody, tell me and I'll stop. <laughs> yeah, I don't really like it. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I won't. Not a fan of mouth sounds. <laughs> okay, I I will cease. Thank you. It was a funny bit. I'll grant you that. It was a funny bit. <laughs> but it can be done now. <laughs> Sometimes a funny bit can just be done like twice, and that's okay. You don't know anything about his blood color or why that would matter in this conversation about his hot dog. You're hungry, sure, but you didn't mean to cast a threatening gaze at his meal. All you really want to do is make a new buddy, so you won't feel quite alone in this strange new world. I I see. You just want a friend and not my sweet meats. <laughs> Sorry, I get a little pa I, mm. Sorry, I get a little paranoid when I walk around with such delicacies in public. You can't be too careful. Folks tend to get that greedy look in their eyes around my Warm sausage. These are odd ways to express the things he's saying, you think? But it would be rude to point that out. Probably best to change the subject. Get this blossoming friendship moving in the right direction. Save. Oh. Ask if he lives nearby, or ask if you can have a bite of his hot dog. It looks amazing! Now, what did we learn from our daughter's route on what you think the correct option is? Well, for our daughter's route, it was like the cr the one you think is the correct option was the first one, but then the other one was the second one. Uh, so, I guess I would ask if he lives nearby. I assume he doesn't want me encroaching on his hot dog. Yeah, or, I mean, I used to. My place was bombarded by drones a while ago. Now I don't have a hive, but I'm making it work out here. Foraging for hasty things when I can. I've gotten pretty good at it. I talk talking people into giving me meat products, I mean... Just foraging for hot dogs and only hot dogs is very funny. <laughs> yeah. You quickly feel a sense of pity for your new friend. You thought you had it rough, crash landing here, hungry and friendless, and come to think of it, feels like your arm is broken, your ribs too maybe, but enough self-pity. This is about making a great new friend. You ask your friend if there's anything you can do to improve his life. Oh, wait... Are we- are we friends now? Like, is that official? Man, I don't know. Why don't- why don't we slow it down a bit and see- see how things go? I'm not saying it's out of the question, I just... think I should take some time to see if you're actually friendship material. 
Someone I trust, you know? Not just another looky-loo gunning for my delicacy. <laughs> oh, damn. You got out of your skis again. Of course, he's right. This is totally reasonable. You, you feel... got out over your skis. <laughs> you got out over your skis, you know? The common saying everyone says. <laughs> I, like, I've heard things. it before, but... Yeah, I don't. I think I don't think I have outside I, this game. I feel like I've heard it before, but maybe I'm just tricking myself because I've read it here before, a few years ago. I, I think I understand what it's saying, but I don't. Yeah, think I've never heard it. Wild. Get out over your skis from the Cambridge <laughs> Dictionary to do something too early or before you are ready or prepared. <laughs> yeah. Does it say? Uh, yeah, only rich people who go vacation in mountains sometimes say this. Yeah. I do not know the origin of this. Cambridge, oh. you are lacking. I don't know if I hang out with anyone who has come skiing. You feel sure. Oh. Huh? Uh. Did you find question? it? It's very recent. What? Really? The, the earliest the earliest one that I have found. When did this game come out? Uh 20, <laughs> 2018? The Isn't earliest use of it the, the earliest use of it that I have found is in 2012 when Obama said it uh in like referencing Biden. Um that's very funny. I mean, Obama is the Homestuck president. <laughs> yeah, you're it's right. all connected. It's all connected. <laughs> it's all connected. Um, you know that's what? a very yeah. white thing for Obama to say, like a white rich person <laughs> yeah. going skiing <laughs> I, about not to, Biden. Not okay. to validate the Skynet systems documents, but that does sound like a Jakeism. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Obama learned it from Jake, his <laughs> step grandpa or something <laughs> I yeah something like that something like that the family tree over there is is rough you feel sure you can do what it takes to win him over you take a mental note to avoid looking at or mentioning his hot dog since it seems to be such a sensitive subject you do everything in your power to avert your gaze from the hot dog you are aggressively not looking at it in fact don't think hot dog thoughts. Don't think hot dog thoughts. Mm -hmm. It's working. You aren't thinking about hot dogs at all. It's like he isn't even holding one, and no one ever even brought it. Uh, brought up the fact that hot dogs exist. He seems to notice on some primal level your current non-hot dog mindset. He smiles. You pay closer attention to the boy's face. It's a nice smile he has, actually. Very kind. Disarming. A few freckles here and there, a mop of messy hair draping over his eyes. What a nice friend this would be to have, you think. He's kind of adorable, really, if you disregard the prickly attitude about his hot dog. I okay. I get it. Huh? I don't want people taking my food. <laughs> right. I also get it. He is very cute. He's adorable. <laughs> I, I'm a sucker for freckles, so. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. You don't want to start that thinking thoughts that are too friendly. You should dial this down a little. Stick to the basics. You just want a cool new friend, nothing more. You should try to spark some non-meat related conversation soon, before things get awkward. You wonder about his house. It got bombed? Yeah, you know. Routine drone past the... Uh... <clears throat> Routine drone passed through my hood. Little bombing, a little calling. That's how it goes around here. Ah, it was a lucky one. My Lucis, not not so much. Aww. He's a goner. No, oh, no, sad Aww. boy. <laughs> you don't know what a Lucis is, but you can deduce it was someone important to him who probably died in the bombing. Rather than overwhelm him with annoying questions about his culture, you decide the right place to show some sympathy. Thanks. I miss him. Sometimes, I think. I enjoy savory bun delights. 
as a way of covering up the pain. <laughs> they're so they're so good though, it's hard to stop. Also, I I favored the juicy meats before he died anyway. It's something we did together. How did we start talking about my hot dog once more? You finally said the word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's let's drop it. Please, dude, don't bring it up again. He didn't bring it up, but you don't want to correct him. The boy is clearly grieving. You see two faint red tears roll down his cheeks from behind the messy bangs. Your heart can't take it. You have to console this homeless boy somehow. Then he'll definitely be your friend. But what to do? Save um, is what to do. Okay, so for our daughter... I know what I want to do. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what seems like the correct answer is to not give him a hug, because we said we were going to move slowly, but I was played for a fool in <laughs> our daughter's route. Um, so I guess we should give him a hug? Give him a hug? The, the other choice was give him a friendly pat on the back, but we'll give him a hug. You open your arms and approach him with a posture of great compassion. You furrow your brow upward a bit, upwardly a bit, as if to say, I know. I know how hard it is. You advance, and he leans backward a little, as if caught off guard by your sympathy. Maybe you're coming on too strong? But you know there's no turning back now. You don't just throw the brakes on an imminent heartfelt hug like this. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You immediately do. Consent is important. If somebody backs away, you stop. <laughs> <laughs> you embrace him awkwardly, and it goes well for a moment until you realize your arm is broken and it seizes up reflexively in pain. It jostles the hot oh, dog no. in his hand and he bobbles it. He both gasp. You try to detach from the hug so you can catch the dog, but it's already on its way to the ground. In your attempt to save it, you stagger backwards and slip. The hot dog gets smushed under your big <laughs> dumb ass. The moment it makes contact with the ground, Demon lets out a shriek. No! <laughs> okay, that wasn't the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dude! Dude, my dog! <laughs> you scramble to get up in time, hoping you're not owned as owned as it looks, but your feet keep slipping and your butt keeps grinding the hot dog into the mud. <laughs> this is, like, so clear it was written by Hussey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when the carnage finally subsides, you roll over and check it out. It's completely unsalvageable. Just a gross, meaty mud mash. Like the hot dog never even existed. Demon howls in agony and slumps backward against a tree. Oh no, you fucked this up so bad. That's, that's it, man. I've lost everything. Not sure what the point of even living is anymore. <laughs> you are absolutely mortified by your clumsiness and foolishness. You have a feeling you'll be thinking about this moment for years to come, during those insecure moments when your mind seems to be looking for any excuse to make yourself cringe with self-doubt and shame. Still, you can't help but feel this guy is being a little unreasonable. It's just one hot dog. There are probably plenty more of those to come by for those who know where to look in this strange world. He himself said he makes a habit of enjoying these, so they can't be all that uncommon. Maybe he just has an unusual psychological disorder surrounding a fixation on this particular food item? Yes, that could be it. Poor guy. This just means he needs your support as a friend all the more. <laughs> you won't give up on your friends, or for that matter, people who you're trying desperately to become friends with. That just isn't who you are as a person. You have an idea. You run it by him with a sense of optimism and salesmanship. The past is behind you. There is no need to wallow over, wallow in self-incrimination and guilt over the hot dog incident. Demon perks up a little. Are you not dead yet? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Ardana is bad and took a while. Hmm. You want to help me get another hot dog? Absolutely. It could be a fun adventure, you say. 
something to bond over, to bring two new buddies closer together. Okay, you don't say that out loud, but you really hope it's true. I, I don't know. It could be a long shot. Sometimes it can be days before I'm united with another plump treat. Glistening with perspiration. Steaming, relaxing comfortably in a soft, melt-in-your-mouth loaf. My question is, why Damn. did he not eat that hot dog immediately? <laughs> Gotta save that shit. I don't have that kind of self-control. Gotta you wait to for save the best it for place. Days. Yeah, just take one bite the, every... The, <laughs> the perfect way to eat that hot dog would be so that you finish the last bite as soon as you find another one. <laughs> Now I really want a hot dog. Me too, man. <laughs> I guess I don't have much choice but to take you up on your offer, do I? What What do you have in mind? It's a good question. You haven't made a plan yet and frankly don't even know where to begin. But he's interested in spending more time with you, which is the most important thing. You'll figure something out. You decide a display of confidence is called for here. A real show of leadership to improve morale. You smile, hold your head up high, and tell him to follow you. You know exactly what to do. Well, not really, but you give no indication of that at all. He's definitely intrigued. You've got him hooked now, you think. He's probably wondering if he hit pay dirt, finding a new friend with THE hot dog hookup. Of course, you don't have the slightest idea where to find a hot dog, but you've got to admit, you're enjoying the feeling of being important and valued by a potential friend. You don't want to do anything underhanded, yet you can't help but feel you should probably milk this social gambit for all it's worth. This way, you say, as you begin marching confidently in a random direction. He obediently follows and begins rubbing his tummy. You begin to feel nervous almost immediately. You have absolutely no idea how this is going to play out or if it stands any chance of resulting in hot dog at the end of the journey. Oh well, you'll figure something out along the way. You lead him through streets and winding through the yards of strange-looking houses, and he follows. He takes care to make sure you are both not seen, which could get you both into trouble, apparently. The improvised, cir circuitous route appears to provoke his suspicion. Dude. <laughs> are you sure you know where a dog is? It seems like maybe you're lost. Oh, absolutely. You're absolutely sure you know where to find one, you say. You're just throwing anyone off the trail who might have been following you. He nods solemnly, as if that makes perfect sense. <laughs> Phew. But you can't keep him guessing like this forever. You've got to do something. Take some bold action to keep his interest in this wiener quest. You say, this way, down here, this is a shortcut to the hot dog supply you're privy to. It's the mother load. Um, in the sewer? Yes, totally. It should just take a short trek through the sewer. Shouldn't be more than an hour or several of sewer trudging. That is, if he still has the will to do what it takes to get his hands on more juicy dogs. Oh, hell yeah. You know it. After you, man. You're gonna get eaten by a Gru. <laughs> <laughs> yes. An hour later, you're so deep in the sewer, you've lost all bearing on any sense of direction. You need anywhere by now, you've taken so many crazy turns. Still, you don't let up for a second that you're lost. You've made each turn with decisive conviction. He's still following you, but... Now he's having trouble keeping up. He's out of breath and struggling with the foul smell. Can't say you're enjoying it much either, but you can't let on to the fact that what you're doing now is anything other than the most casual routine for you. Like you do this every day. Just a quick jaunt through the sewer to hit this vast mythical trove of meat products. Okay, when you put it that way, maybe this is all, uh, maybe this all sounds a bit insane. Still, you're too deep in to second-guess yourself now. Hey. I gotta... Yeah, stop and rest. Can't lie. I'm starving for another 
heavenly frankfurter. But this might be too much for me. I don't think I'm cut out for this. He paused and looked back. He's sitting down now, slumped against a filthy sewer wall. You are intensely relieved to see you may have just won this impromptu game of sewer hot dog chicken. But more importantly than that, this looks like an ideal time to show some sympathy and have a bonding moment with your would-be friend. You sit next to him with your broken arm and, uh, and with your broken arm, put a hand on his knee in a platonic but deeply understanding way. Your arm hurts when you do this, but it's worth it. Every little gesture counts when making a new friend. I just... I kind of suck. My looseness is gone. I don't have any skills and most people think I'm weird for liking hot dogs so much. I'm probably just going to get cold. I'm not good at going on adventures or, or doing anything hard. All I'm good at is finding an easy meal here and there. However I can get it. I like talking people out of their fine sausages using tricks or other ploys which end up losing me friends. It's been unthinkable that anyone would actually do anything nice for me or would want to have that sweet, sweet meat I desire. Or want me to have. Mm -hmm. At least it was unthinkable until now. Your heart begins to race. Could it be? Is... Is this shitty improvised sewer escapade actually working? You can't believe it! Nobody's ever done so much or... Or worked so hard to try and get my hands on another magnificent banger. Sorry for being emotional, but, like... This is new for me. I don't know how to handle it. I'm... I'm just so... I'm so grateful. I'd be thrilled to call you a friend, man. Whatever you are. You're overjoyed. Unbelievable. It's almost too good to be true. But now, it's such a sudden turn of good fortune, you hardly know what to do. Should... Should you hug the guy? Last time, that didn't go so well. But this time, he's not holding a hot dog for you to come clumsily defile, so maybe this is your moment. Wait, what's oh. that? A deep rumbling sound begins to echo through the tunnels. Oh shit. They found us. It's a drone, dude. I guess on like sewer duty? We gotta run. He gets up, grabs your hand, and sprints. He's a lot faster than he looks when motivated to get moving. He turns this way and that as the rumbling gets closer. But he slips on something and you both tumble into a river of horrific sludge. Bro! What'd you say, uh, Moosey? I said troll piss. Troll piss? <laughs> yes. Troll piss is green, canon. Troll piss is Mountain Dew colored. <laughs> yeah. I mean, have you seen trolls it's and what they eat? It's ecto cooler. <laughs> <laughs> I can't swim! Help! Your bad arm finds purchase on the ledge, and though it's very painful, you heroically salvage your friend from the muck with the other arm. He coughs and gasps for breath. You find a nearby ladder and shove him upward until he starts climbing on his own and follow him. You burst through a lid on the floor, and you both flop out of the hole, drenched in filth, smelling horrible and completely exhausted. But at least you're safe, you think? Hey, hey man. I just want you to know, even though we didn't find the glorious treasure you were leading us to, I am happy with how it all turned out. <laughs> Maybe I don't need hot dogs in my life as much as I thought. Maybe that's not the real treasure, after all. It's been a journey for me, let me tell you. Learning so much about myself, about life, because of you. His bushy hair is slicked back from his eyes due to the sludge, but we don't get to see them because we're tragic. Mm -hmm. He's giving you a penetrating, soulful gaze of presumably pure friendship. Or is it even oh. deeper than that? Wow, this is intense. Uh, 
Then something catches your eye just above him. Something dangling. Lots of dangling things, actually. Come to think of it, it's really cold in here. Freezing, in fact. Are you gonna get impaled by icicles? <laughs> no. <laughs> you finally realize. Holy shit. You're in a weird alien meat locker. You're absolutely surrounded by dangling meat products, including many sausages. <laughs> Thousands of them. You begin to sob. Your sobbing soon turns into unrestrained wailing of raw catharsis. He joins you and the tears flow freely from you both. You embrace each other and let it all out. Suddenly it hits you. Both of you. This is by far the happiest day of your life. <laughs> Meet heaven! Like trim heaven, but more. Yeah. But now. But now. <laughs> <laughs> you did it first try. Yay. First try. Which no means bad ends. <laughs> we gotta load the bad ends now. Yeah. Okay, so the first one. Uh, hot dogs have no bad yeah, ends. Clearly. Ask if you can to have get a bite. Hot dog. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Forget it. I'm leaving forever. <laughs> Bye. That was fast. I would love to end social yeah. interactions like that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Disrespectful. <laughs> I'm leaving forever. Bye. <laughs> I okay. did um, the uh, the the Digimon episode that I just did with Hyperfix. I did actually end it with goodbye forever. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay, friendly back, Pat. Maybe thinks we're stealing hot dogs. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I'd give him a friendly pat on the back. <clears throat> you keep it simple and pat him on the back a couple of times. Everything's going to be okay. Since you're his new friend, or at least working toward earning that status, he has a new ally to help him with whatever comes his way. He wipes his tears and appears to get himself back together. Your friendly gesture worked. You're, you're right. I shouldn't let the past get me down. In, oh. the, in a way, I'm free. I'm off the grid. They probably think I died. No need to worry about knocks on my door because I don't have a door anymore. Ooh, that was a bad read. That's fine. Do you want to do it again or keep going? No, that's fine. Maybe I can live off the land for the rest of my life. Grounging for scrumptious indulgences wherever, I'm, wherever I may find them. By rummaging through... By rummaging through oval drums or smooth talking the right mark. That's gross. Sounds like the life, honestly. Good for you. I'll miss my looses, but I think he would be proud of me. If I can make it work without him, if I can survive on my own, I, I know he'd be proud. Maybe I don't even need to leave the planet? Maybe I can avoid Maybe I can avoid taking the ordeals altogether. Can't test who you can't find. If I play my cards right, I can probably live to the ripe old age on this planet without getting caught. Convenient they don't list an age. Right, I added the the and then immediately realized there wasn't an age on the next line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like hiding in alleys and sewers, scraping together just enough succulent proteins to keep myself going. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even need to get by that long. Since I have a much shorter lifespan than most trolls. So I think that So I think I just might be able to make this work. You look confused at the last remark, but again, don't want to be impolite. He holds up his hand as if to tell you not to bother. I can tell you're not from here. It's okay. Rust bloods just don't live a long time. Blood classes higher than me live progressively longer the higher up you go. Sea dwellers live basically forever. Kind of crazy and seems unfair, but that's how it is. I'd be jealous of them, but I think I'm not. I'm almost grateful I don't have very long to make it in this world. I don't know what I'd do if I had longer. I'm happy to settle into a nice short ride, keep a low profile, take in some good meat along the way. Nothing wrong with that life, if you ask me. You understand. It seems like a tragic story, but... 
If your friend has made peace with his destiny, you might as well too. You offer a sympathetic shrug and continue your impressive streak of consecutive seconds not looking at his hot dog at all. <laughs> he smiles again. He seems to be relaxing, gripping the hot dog a little less tightly. That's good. You know, you're good at listening. Not many people understand me at all. A lot of people find my overly possessive attitude towards meaty delights a bit strange and off-putting. I've heard this more I've heard this more than once and lost some friends that way. Phew. There is some past personal drama I do not want to think about, <laughs> let me tell you. Same. But you're different. <laughs> Maybe you put me at ease because it's obvious you're even lower than me? <laughs> no offense, but you are. Drones would vaporize a hornless goof like you, no questions asked. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. You laugh it off. You're not scared, you say. You've survived worse. You pat your broken ribs and wince. You clutch your sore ribs with your broken arm and wince even harder because of that. Oh, man. Looks like your arm's hurt, huh? I guess it's broken. Let's let's see what we can do about that. Here, hold this a second. He hands you his hot dog without hesitation. Oh wow. He wants you to hold it? This is such a remarkable gesture of trust. You're overwhelmed. You gingerly take the hot dog with your good arm, being very careful. You hold the hot dog from beneath with your fingertips, as if it's a delicate, priceless treasure. He takes off his vest and puts it on the ground, then he takes off his shirt. You avert your eyes for a moment, then realize that's silly. Nothing particularly indecent about this, you suppose. If he's comfortable, so are you. Then he puts his vest back on, takes the hot dog back from you, and hands you the shirt. Here, make a sling out of it. That should help. He's right. It does help. Your broken arm is a lot more comfortable and secure. The shirt smells like meat, too. You can't tell if you think that's a bonus or if it's weird. It's a bonus. You decide it's a bonus. <laughs> this is your new friend. He loves meat, and so do you. It's your greatest common interest, after <laughs> all. Or, in fact. I just put in so nice. many different words. <laughs> You know, I think we'd make a pretty good team. I don't know if I'm ready to officially call you my friend yet, but I may be getting close. Dude, you gave him the literal shirt off your back <laughs> when you don't have a house. You, you let him hold your hot dog. Yeah. I yeah. keep saying him. I don't know why I always gender MSPAR as him, but whatever. Uh, MSPAR uses all pronouns. Yeah. I feel like. Yeah. If, if they're, uh, you know, all of us. Yeah, Fair exactly. <laughs> You're pushing all the right buttons, man. Just being someone who listens and understands. You have no idea how much that means to me. You're so happy to hear this. It makes your heart sing. Well, if you're keeping it totally real... Some of the things he's saying are just a little strange. Maybe this boy wasn't really socialized properly by his looses, you guess? You think that might be his dad, but again, you don't dare ask. Not when the positive feelings are flowing like this. Why kill the mood? He gets a little closer and swoops a hand through his thick black bangs. For the briefest moment, you catch a glimpse of one of his eyes, regarding you fondly. Your heart beats a little faster. He puts a hand on your shoulder. You're... You're starting to wonder if all he's interested in is friendship. You hope that's all he wants. You don't think you're ready for anything more than that. You're desperate for friendship, or really companionship of any sort, but that's moving pretty fast for you. But you're too nervous to make your feelings clear on all of this. If he goes any further... You're not sure if you'll have the will to protest. But listen, dude. This gorgeous meat product that we both admire. I'm thinking... 
Maybe we oh. share it? This is such a cute little... He's got little blush marks. They can give him a blush sprite, but not an eyes sprite. <laughs> no, the eyes are left up to our imagination. Listen, the last time we asked for eyes, we got cursed. Huh? There what? was, um... The, uh... So, I, I've talked about the different Toblerone drops. And one of them, uh, someone had asked for seeing uh, uh, Dave and Dirk's eyes. And, like, Dave has these huge, giant anime eyes, and Dirk has, like, little dots. So maybe we don't ask Cussie for eyes anymore. <laughs> I think this dude has, like, real big, sparkly anime eyes that are oh, not yeah. possible to shut off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I think that sounds good, actually. Oh, my, yes. That sounds wonderful. You're so hungry, and you're beside yourself with gratitude that Demon is willing to share this, uh, share with you something so precious to him. It really means a lot. Here, I have an idea. He brings his face close oh, no. to yours. He holds the hot dog between your faces, with both ends of the hot dog pointing to his mouth and yours. He's such a little freak. He's such a little freak. You're, uh... Not sure what he wants you to do. You you Lady can't find the... the hot dog. Yeah, Lady of Tramp the hot dog. Uh, just 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 it's a hot. It's even worse with a hot dog. You know, there's yeah. so many things about it's, a hot dog. There's it's spiky. It's a spiky hot dog it's too. A spiky hot dog. You can't but, find the breath I mean, to ask. Hmm. But I mean, you know, wood. Wood. I mean wood. <laughs> Seems like he wants you to <laughs> eat the hot dog with him, Lady in the Tramp style. I'm sorry, eat the what? The hot dog. You gotta capitalize that with your voice. Eat the hot dog. Is that better? There you go. Sure. I I have a hard time because I can bring out my Kanaya voice, but that's capitalizing everything. <laughs> Yes, if you pressed on it, you'd agree the act is uncomfortably erotic. But you have to admit it is a good way to share a food item whilst ensuring it gets split about evenly. Not, not necessarily. I don't know. Like, I watch a lot of uh, uh, Keith Eats the Menu, and he has a giant mouth. I think if you were up against, like, Keith with a hot dog, he could take it in one bite. And you absolutely loathe the idea of letting a friend down. It's completely at odds with your values as a person. You chomp down on your end of the hot dog as he goes with his end simultaneously. <laughs> Holy shit, this is so good. You take another bite and he times his bite perfectly. He's <laughs> eerily good at this game. It's throwing off your chewing a bit, which makes you cough a little Are when you, you swallow. Eat us? <laughs> Yeah, he's really into war, actually. That's that's oh, the secret God. the whole time. The secret no, ending no. is a demon wars you. But you don't feel like you can pause without breaking eating rhythm with him. Might be what a bad friend would do. You keep going without really quite swallowing as you go. You get close to his face, which is creating an imminent situation you aren't sure how you're going to handle. You haven't planned for it, and it's coming up fast. The hot dog backlog collecting in your throat is uh, getting a bit too heavy, so you try to swallow, but you can't. You oh. gag and cough up all the chewed hot dog matter explosively into his face. Oh. He recoils, absolutely stunned. His bangs are blown back, and he's staring at you with wide eyes. Hot dog and bun bits are all over his face. He says nothing for a moment, then puts his oh. hand to his throat. Oh, fuck, he's choking. He points at his mouth desperately. You need to do something. The Heimlich, of course. That's what you need to do. You need to save your friend's life. You get behind him and put your good arm around his belly and form a fist. You plunge the fist under his ribs, trying to dislodge his masticated delicacy. It's no use. You can't get any leverage. You need your other arm. It really hurts, though. You'll have to make the sacrifice for your friend. 
Yes, a friend who may have just tried to trick you into kissing him with a silly hot dog stunt? You're not sure how you'll navigate that tricky subject once he's breathing again, but you'll deal with that later. Right now, you have a life to save. You pull your broken arm out of its sling and grab your other fist in front of his belly and squeeze. You try and try and try. His face is turning, well, not blue. Deep red? You guess because his blood is rust colored. Sure, that makes sense. It doesn't. Do <laughs> your face turns blue. Doesn't it turn blue from lack of oxygen? It Like, so your blood yeah. isn't oxygenated. So, like, I don't know how the oxygen oxygen is. Oxygen is Oxygen. I mean, it also doesn't make a ton of sense that, like, your blood color would affect the color of your tears. Yeah, because we have red blood, not blue Yeah, blood. but I can excuse, like, some blood gets into your tear duct or something, right? Like, as some weird anatomy, but not like, I don't know. I, th I feel like a much larger portion of trolls' internal systems is blood-related as compared to ours. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you yank one more time, your broken arm throbbing in pain. A huge gob of chewed hot dog launches out of his mm -hmm. mouth like a cannonball, and the explosion creates enough force in the other direction it causes you to ac actually lift him up into the air and <laughs> accidentally suplex him into the mud behind you. Get dunked, idiot. <laughs> you in turn go tumbling over him and the two of you are soon locked into an inseparable pinwheel of interspecies downhill mayhem <laughs> you roll and roll down the grassy Hold incline on. toward a nearby neighborhood toward a street I got a what? new discord status <laughs> what's your discord status interspecies downhill mayhem <laughs> <laughs> luckily you stop just short of the street but demon's neck lands right on top of the sharp ledge of a curb and after flipping in the air once or twice, you come down right on his face with your big ass. <laughs> your big ass is doing all sorts of damage this route. Um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, MSPR is stacked. Uh, confirmed. Cannon. Uh, mm -hmm. Got that cake. You hear a crack. Demon? You oh slap gosh. his cheek a little. No response. He's not breathing. You check his mouth. Throat is clear of hot dog debris. Oh god. This can't be happening. You, you look around, panicked. Oh this isn't what you need right now. All you wanted was a friend. You can't be held responsible for alien murder. You have to hide the body. You see a couple kids creeping out of nearby houses to see what all the commotion is. There's no time. You've got to find a bush or something. There. Over there. Looks like, uh... Little alien bushy thing. It's pretty small, but it'll have to do. You drag the vested, shirtless carcass over to the bush. You dump the body in the bush, and it's uh, really not convincing. It looks like a dead kid was in unceremoniously dropped on top of a small bush in a poor attempt to conceal a murder. You've got to come up with a better... Wait a minute. Someone is standing behind you. Hello, stranger. I forgot you were in this route, too. <laughs> Don't worry about this little mess you've made. I'll take care of it for you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't <laughs> <him. sighs> Not the best day ever. No. Not the best day ever. That's so fucking good. <laughs> Now I just have to check on my friends. Okay, my friends. Serious, <laughs> seriously though, I am going to have to uh, look up what routes of this game Ardana is in because she's in a, a, a she's shocking in... number of them. <laughs> she, yeah, yeah. Because she's in the party one, but a lot of people are in the party one. Yeah. Because it's a party. Mm. So that makes sense. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Because I forgot she was in this one. She's, she's in... in boulders too she's in boulders yeah oh interesting yeah no you'll have to look that up so i can be sure to to we can be sure to schedule those does, does damon come back in any of them 
Probably not. I oh, he comes so, back in the party. He comes. Oh, back he comes back in the party. Okay, all right. <laughs> if he didn't, I was going to say, wait a minute. This is the canonical end, <laughs> and it's how you go into our daughter's room. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. That would be funny. That the bad end is actually the friend sim canonical end. Yeah. That would be great. Only for this one, though. The other ones are all friendship. Yeah. So what do you think, Moosey? Uh, I, I enjoyed that second part more. <laughs> this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair, fair. Yeah. I understand. I, I felt a little understand. uncomfortable at the... At the, at the tail end? The, uh, the of the bad end? Of, no. Oh, the, the, oh, the, uh, the tick stuff, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> tick stuff, gross. I completely mm. understand. I'm not offended at all. Yeah. yeah. It's like, mm. of all the bugs, I mean... <laughs> We're not going to start, but I just want to see. I forgot who's next, even though I've looked at the screen already. Yeah, okay. Another it's really and... good pair of characters, yeah. honestly. It's, yeah. Uh, it's, pa it's Paints and Vibes. Paints and Vibes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Okay. Um. Dang. I, I was afraid that we wouldn't get through Demon's Route, but it's only been two hours. I thought, like, us talking would take longer i guess yeah i thought we were gonna bullshit more um i did have a hard out tonight and i thought we were gonna run close to it but it's in 40 minutes so yeah yeah i mean sometimes there's no bullshit because the bullshit's on the page because that's 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 hussy's thing it's just like i don't even know what to say to this hussy mm -hmm. although to be fair one the... yeah Sorry. one of the routes was a sentence yeah so yeah I read the, the local files and see if there's any source code scripts in there. Oh, I mean, there's there, there is. It's just Renpy. Yeah. Like, 100%. yeah, that was um, actually, I'm gonna say discourse. And coming from me, that's gonna sound scary, but I think it's funny discourse. Uh, so they made this for the um, for the 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 kids and then the main set of trolls. Uh, it's called Pester Quest, which we have to wait so long to get to. Because it's uh, canonically after um, after the epilogues. But someone, uh, one of the uh, coders, like, hid stuff in the code that, I don't apparently, like, it spoiled the other routes a bit. Um, but, like, I don't know. It was never too much. Like, I, I, I couldn't even remember, like, what all was, was said to be spoiled. But uh, because Renpy is so easy to just dig through the files and, and people knew it. So yeah. someone left some little hints in there to look for. But, um yeah, I mean, that's also, I mean, Rempy's easy enough, but that's also why it's so easy to just get, like, the, the assets and stuff for people to make their own mm -hmm. friend sim. Yeah. But, yeah. It's a... Source it's... code deep dive and writing time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. that That's going to be, that's actually going to be the podcast episode. I'm going to ignore all the stuff that we've just recorded. <laughs> I'm going to delete the files Craig has for me, and it's just going to be you rating the source code for each <laughs> each volume. I I, I think that uh, doing like a like a tier list of the routes, but not based on the writing, and based instead on based the on the, the source code. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. Did each okay. person who wrote stuff did they script it themselves, or did like one person script it? Uh. Let me scroll down and see. We got writers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How's he? Oh, how's he only did those two? Yeah. Um, I, you said that. I forgot. Oh, of course V did Marvis and Lonk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I forgot. Like, I knew all of this so hard. And I just, I forgot who this. Okay. Uh, character artists. Yeah. Cam Quash um shelby crag what is what does shelby do now i know what shelby does now i forgot background artists ending illustrations ui design musician just james roach oh. that's funny yeah yeah and this is why, like, i have a really long title for my theme song because james roach did stuff like this yeah. and dami did that it was it was the style of the time. Yeah, was it? A, oh, oh, it wasn't just a James Roach thing. I don't know. No, it was a style. James Roach thing. Oh, 
Well, and then we got, oh, more people did stuff. Not just James Roach. Of course, Toby Yeah, because James Roach is the only one who wrote, like, new music for this game, but they do credit other songs that are from other places in the Homestuck soundtrack. Oh. Yeah. Like, the themes, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, uh... Like, these other bit, like, all of those Toby Fox songs, they're from, except I guess Karen. I guess Toby Fox might have written a couple of uh, original tracks for this as well. But, um, like, Frostbite is from one of the other Homestuck soundtrack albums. Olive Scribe is, uh, which is Connell's theme. That's that's a Nepeta song. Oh. oh Super no Ego is a Vriska song. I don't know shit about stuff. I mean, you know, that's fair. Megalovania started off mm-hmm. as, what, like an Earthbound fan song, and then yeah, a Homestuck yeah. song, and then now a Undertale song. Mm-hmm. And uh, now a Smash like we song. Only have... <laughs> Here we go. Two programmers to rate. Yeah. I like the name Mint Chipleaf. Mint, Mint Chipleaf Chip is, is good. so good. <laughs> that's a good name. Quality assurance. No one did it for that. <laughs> <laughs> no one did it for one and two. <laughs> that tracks. That does track. That's so fucking funny. That's so good. <laughs> that explains a lot. Like no one went back. I mean, I guess like they didn't hire them on until after the, um, the first two routes were published, <laughs> and I guess there were issues. So they're like, oh shit, we actually. <laughs> Well, Pumpkin, you never fail to be the worst at being a company. <laughs> okay, I so I have a I have a question. Um, uh-huh. Maybe more for Moosey on this. In a game like this, what, uh, what sort of okay. things would quality assurance be looking for outside of like making sure the music cue happens, sprites are in the right place, and that like text leads to the right area? Is there anything? Oh, they definitely would want to have like test the upgrade from version two to version three and make sure nothing breaks at least that would be what a good qa would do uh but since i had no qa for one and two maybe that's the problem with the save feature i remember it happened significantly later than that but yeah. yeah yeah that's even funnier Wait, so they didn't have any quality assurance to test and make sure that two could add on to one correctly? Like, maybe Possibly they not. just had, like, Aisha or someone loaded up. Seems good yeah. to me. Yeah. Yeah, I would assume they had someone play test it, but not, like, on, yeah. at working or, as a QA. I mean, yeah, considering like, how yeah. Highsoft Act 2 came out, there was, um... Didn't they just remove a whole section because they couldn't get it to work when people were actually playing it? Yup. Yeah. What? I know when yeah. I have like a new version of my game, I will play through it. But again, like I, I try to test everything, but I'm not necessarily as good as like a dedicated QA person. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wasn't it? Um, there was a, a B section that had like a puzzle or something initially or something. Oh yeah, yeah, and people like kept getting soft locked right. in the puzzle, yeah. Yeah. so they just so they, they just, just removed the, the puzzle. That's so. Funny. I think you can still access it. Like you can still go to the the place in game and do the thing, but it's not required. Maybe I I can't remember. I only played that once and never again. I don't feel like this is spoilers because you don't have any context or anything. But there's an Ace Attorney section <laughs> that takes up way too much it's, of the game yeah for um, someone who does not care about ace like i like ace attorney i like watching the game grumps video and i need to watch the pro zd videos but like i was not having a good time playing it because i hadn't watched those videos before playing this mm. game so i had no um affection yeah. for ace attorney by then and uh yeah it wasn't terrible it just went on it just i mean you know i'm 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 really building up a thing that you're going to have to play in mm-hmm. seven years but <laughs> yeah. so it, it went on it went on too long which is again a very ace attorney thing to do going yeah. by the end of investigations of the first game yeah but 
also it's not an ace attorney game and yeah <laughs> so but uh I mean, yeah we could make one with was terezi the one who was always doing the the lawyer yeah. stuff yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, her blood cast. I'm sorry, the legis- legislacerator. Come on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Maybe you know the Frampy Amy. Cool. Yeah. Um, it was a fun, fun time. I, I really didn't expect to go too quickly, but now we know. Uh, and now we're yeah. gonna try to um, plan for the future. Twitch has this thing where I can like schedule out future streams which i've been doing for my dragon mm-hmm. age stream mm-hmm. but we'll do that off off stream i said stream too much <laughs> uh anyway thank you guys for joining me i'm gonna stop recording now uh i guess if this is a podcast episode i'll either record an extra outro or you you'll just have to you'll have to deal with the the pre-recorded when i stick on the end of everything i can talk i just mm-hmm. did a whole bunch of talking i, I talk I was about to say for a living. I don't do that. <laughs> um, I explicitly avoid doing that. Um, don't call me at work. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you for joining um, Era Archfey. Thank you for for hanging out. I got your name this time. I'm pretty sure. But uh, and we'll we'll keep you updated on when we will be doing these on the the reg whether you know i'm not i almost started scheduling it now stop it stop <laughs> it and the stream <laughs> anyway i'll see you when i uh, i'll see you saturday if you like dragon age inquisition i i've been streaming it every every saturday and sometimes dami is there and most of the time dami is not there but you never know you never know someone could be there yeah maybe you could just come for me though that would be cool because it's my channel <laughs> but whatever floats your boat man whatever whatever gets them views i'm i'm a big big on views that's why i do stuff that's <laughs> so widely uh i i can't word anyway goodbye <laughs> bye everyone <laughs>